I'm here to explain what is OSCE all about. Let's see. OSCE stands for Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe. The OSCE is the largest regional security organization in the world. The OSCE works for stability, peace and democracy for more than a billion people through political dialogue about shared values and through practical work that aims to make a lasting difference. Establishment Initially, it was known as CSCE, Conference on Security and Cooperation in Europe, and was founded in July 1973. In December 1994, the name of the organization was changed from CSCE to the OSCE. Headquarters The headquarters of the OSCE is situated in Vienna, Austria. Official Languages the official languages of the OSCE are English, French, German, Italian, Spanish, and Russian. Members of the OSCE The OSCE comprises 57 participating states from three continents, North America, Europe, and Asia. It covers around a billion population. Let's see the 57 participating states. Here's the list of 57 participating states. You can check it out. Let's move on. Partners for Cooperation The OSCE maintains privileged relations with 11 Asian and Mediterranean partners for cooperation to better address shared security challenges. Partners in Asia are Afghanistan, Japan, South Korea and Thailand. Partners in Oceania, it's Australia, and Mediterranean partners for cooperation are Algeria, Egypt, Israel, Jordan, Morocco, and Tunisia. Objectives of the organization The OSCE works for stability, peace, and democracy through political dialogue and through practical work that contributes to sustainable progress. The OSCE is a forum for political dialogue on a wide range of security issues and a platform for joint action to improve the lives of individuals and communities. The OSCE uses a comprehensive approach to security that encompasses the political, military, economic and environmental and human dimensions. Through this approach, and with its inclusive membership, the OSCE helps bridge differences and build trust between states by cooperating on conflict prevention, crisis management, and post-conflict rehabilitation. With its institutions, expert units, and network of field operations, the OSCE addresses issues that have an impact on our common security, including arms control, terrorism, good governance, energy security, human trafficking, democratization, media freedom, and national minorities. Let's move on. OSCE Funding and Budget The OSCE is funded by contributions from its 57 participating states. OSCE Summits Summit meetings at the level of heads of state are the highest decision-making body of the OSCE. The first summit of OSCE was held in Helsinki from 30 July to 1st August 1975 when the organization was known as CSCE. There are no general rules determining how often summit take place. Any participating state can propose a summit but decision must be taken by consensus. Ministerial Council The Ministerial Council is composed of the Ministers for Foreign Affairs of the OSCE participating states and is the central decision-making and governing body of the organization. But summit meetings at the level of heads of state are the highest decision-making body of the OSCE. Permanent Council the Permanent Council is the principal decision-making body for regular political consultations 
and for governing the day-to-day -day operational work of the OSCE. Forum for Security Cooperation The forum works to increase military security and stability in Europe and covers some of the most fundamental politico-military agreements of the OSCE participating states. The security forum helps to implement landmark confidence and security building measures to regulate the exchange of military information and mutual verification between states as well as the code of conduct, a key document ensuring the democratic control of security forces. The forum also deals with the non-proliferation of weapons of mass destruction. OSCE related bodies. These bodies are not the initiative of the OSCE, but they are directly related to the organization. The first one is Open Skies Consultative Commission. It is an implementing body of the Open Skies Treaty established in 2002. It is a regime of unarmed aerial observation flights over the territory of its 33 signatories. The Commission regularly meets at the OSCE in Vienna and maintains several informal working groups of experts that deal with technical issues related to the treaty. The second organization is Joint Consultative Group. The Joint Consultative Group is based in Vienna and deals with questions related to the compliance of states with the provisions of the 1990 Treaty on Conventional Armed Forces in Europe. That's it for now. We will come back with a different topic. Till then, keep watching Narvi Academy.